Here's a comedy centric moment. You know, but um, Bill, Bill, who's the most famous person you've ever encountered? Like, you know, I know it's I probably that, hard to qualify, who, but I had oh, I fell on Sean Connery. Do you, do you That's know? what I yeah, I wanted to bring that up. And you peed next to Keith Hernandez. Oh no, you peed next to Mark Hamill and you fell on Sean Connery. Okay. I peed next to Mark Hamill and uh and now I'm gonna forget the guy's name. The guy who played Aiden on uh, Sex and the City and, and oh, he was yeah. John, no, John, John, um, John Corbett. Yeah, John, John Corbett. Corbett. Yeah, I peed next to him. Hi. <laughs> I peed next to Bill Cullen once. Oh, really? How was that? <laughs> I was shocked because I didn't know that he had polio and, the, and he came away yes. from the urinal. For those yeah, of you who don't know. Now I knew that because my father would see him in the city a lot. But go ahead. Where, where we never saw him walk on television. That's why, because he had he had crutches. He was. Uh, where were you being? Was this at your house or? No, oh, <laughs> was it Thirty Rock? I was Thirty, 30 Rock. Rock. That's yeah. where I came. I went up the elevator with Keith Hernandez. Oh, that's a sign. You know, I didn't. Though. I don't like to like. I don't like to bother. You know, I'm used right. to it now. I've been this is. I've been going into the city since I was 12. I lived in. Yeah. I grew up in Queens, which I guess is New York City, but. Yeah. Um, from the time I was 12, I would just get on the train and go in and look for people. You know, I just right. loved doing that with my friends or whatever. And, uh, you know, occasionally I'd see a Merv Griffin or somebody coming out of a theater and, you know, I'd start yelling. But um, when you yeah. yelled, did you yeah. yell like Arthur Treacher? Did you yell like <laughs> Arthur Treacher and go, Mervin? <laughs> no, I yelled, he's got gray hair. <laughs> and I, I, knew that he would, I knew that he would respond to that as opposed to, oh, Merv, I love you, whatever. Because he was coming out of the theater, I guess they taped or whatever, and there was a crowd. And I yelled, he's got gray hair. And then he said, uh, of course, I'm 85 years old, which was not true. He was much younger. But um, of course, yes. my father used to love him all the time. Well, how did you fall on Sean Connery? I fall on Sean Connery. I had two interviews that were not quite back to back. I was interviewing Mary Gross from Saturday Night Live. I love and her. And Donna Summer, who had a new album out. And they were like two hours in between. That hack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I'm on. I'm on Madison Avenue somewhere, and I'm just window shopping in stores that I can't afford anything in. And I see this. there's a Western store called Billy Martin's, no oh. relation to the uh, manager. And oh. and they're having a half-price sale on cowboy boots. And I saw these, and it said elk boots, and they were on sale for $125. This is like in the 80s, so this is a lot of money for a pair of boots, but I could afford $125. So I go in, and it's a real boutique type place. There's like only one little love seat to sit down on, and there's a woman and her daughter with 900 boxes in front of them. They're trying on like every shoe in the, in the store, and I'm like, oh damn it! So anyway, I start to try to try on these boots, these elk boots, They're big feet, and I wanted to get the right fit. And um, so a man, I, in the corner, I, I see this man walking with a cowboy hat, a beard, and a, a gigantic fur coat, and I'm I kind of registered like is this somebody famous because i but i was busy and i'm trying these things on and all of a sudden standing up i've got my winter coat on i'm putting this on and i fall backwards and he catches me and he's like oh there are you okay and i hear his voice and i'm like oh my god has <laughs> <laughs> james bond just oh my god <laughs> and, and i look up and i see sean connery's face and looking at me and, and just like you know just like a nice person who's helping someone and i'm like oh my god I said, I'm so embarrassed. And he said, are you okay? And I said, fine. <laughs> and I just kept laughing. I didn't know what, I, I had nothing, <laughs> I didn't want to embarrass him as embarrassed as I was that I had fallen on him. And um, he didn't say, I'm Bond, James Bond. Nothing of the kind. Oh. Uh, he just, and you know, I, I could see him walking around and not even being recognized because of the beard and the hat. And he kept down, I guess, you know, he's someone that was very, very famous. He was he tall? Oh, he struck me as tall. He always he struck tall, me as tall. Yeah. He was, was he? Built. What's that? He, he was tall. I didn't. I thought he was. He wasn't shorter. as tall as I am. I'm five seven. He was like six. He was tall. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And of course, he looked even taller in a full length, you know, mink coat, whatever he was wearing. I don't know what it was. So anyway, I leave there and I, I buy the boots and I go to the Donna Summer interview, and I had interviewed her before, so she was hi, Bill. You know, and I, she goes, "What's in the box?" And I said, "Oh, I bought these boots. They're elk. They're like the black butter." And uh, so I opened the box and I said, feel these boots. And she goes, I'm not going to touch your boots. And I said, I was putting on these boots when I fell on Sean Connery. And she goes, oh. And then she touched them. <laughs> and it was cute. And um, yeah, so anyway, so that was the day. I said that was the day uh, that Sean Connery picked me up. Mm -hmm.